All right, we're going to start that video by saying, Call Allah Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shah, Bahashim Rakakadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone and Rule Well. Shalom to your brothers that are preaching and teaching the truth worldwide. And I want to say Shalom to the hopeful lit. Today's lesson is entitled, uh, Just Powerful Earthquakes. Um, she, yeah, Powerful Earthquakes in Turkey and Syria. So as you know, everybody, you're not up on a rock. No point intended. <laughs> so, uh, so if you're not on a rock, you should, you should know that there was a powerful earthquake that 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 left thousands of people dead. Thousands of people dead. Hey, hey, that's the hey, that's the power of Yah by Shem El At the end of the day, so you got. I'm not gonna play the clip, but if you seen it, you seen, you know, bunch of buildings just demolished. I think they were sending first um, responders to try to get people when it first happened, but then I guess they had like another uh, uh, aftershock or something, so they got stuck in there. So here it is, the infrastructure wasn't that good to begin with. So it's, it's not like here in the United States, these buildings are built. To withstand earthquakes, they have codes, and you know, you know, Esau over here, you know, he this nigga got a code for a code. If it's not built a code, this nigga find you, or you won't be able to put the building up. over there. Not so, shit. Any nigga who got a hammer can probably build some shit over there, and then throw that shit up. So you see how these buildings are falling, man. Woo! Lord, man, when World War Three happened and. Especially those Middle Eastern countries. Man, that shit gonna be level. When the Lord come back, man. It, it, that was just an earthquake. Imagine an ICBM be hitting some of these areas. Niggas gonna be flatlined out there. Call up Yahweh So I'm gonna read a little bit of this article. <coughs> More than 7,900 people have been killed. And tens of thousands injured after a magnitude of 7.8 earthquake struck Turkey <clears throat> and Syria on Monday, according to officials. Thousands of buildings collapsed in both countries. Hold up. Shit. I thought it was like maybe a hundred. This shit said thousands of buildings. So, okay. Thousands of buildings collapsed. So, let's just say it's. Damn, that nigga said thousand. They just just say thousand. So let's just say it's two thousand buildings collapsed. Shit, if five people die per building, that's ten thousand right there. Lord took a lot of people back to spirit realm right now. Cause if you if you even if two five people die in two thousand buildings, that's ten grand right there. Lord said, Lord taking the Lord is requiring spirits. So I'm gonna continue to read on thousand buildings collapsed in both countries. So they saying thousands, not I wanna they that's not collectively thousands in both countries. Damn. So thousand buildings collapsed in both countries and aid agencies are particularly worried about northwestern Syria, where more than four million people were already relying on humanitarian assistance. Freezing weather conditions are further uh, endangering survivors and complicating rescue efforts as more than 100 aftershocks have struck the region. The quake, one of the strongest to hit the region in more than 100 years, struck 23 kilometers or 14.2 miles east of um, whatever the city in Turkey, the um, Gaziantep province. So, hey, as you can see from this picture, you know, a hey, places is leveled, man. So here it is, thousands of buildings fail. They don't even have, they they don't even have like excavating equipment stuff to dig people out. These these niggas are digging people out by hand, cause it looks like a fucking third world anyway. It is you know just you know they got buildings and shit, but it's not like here in America. You know, just random nigga got a backhoe, you know, to you know to to, to excavate stuff. And, but over there, they don't have that type of equipment. So, hey, they got to hear this. They got to bring equipment from around the world. So, time is, is not on those people's side. 
if you trapped in rubble and frigid temperatures, shit, you're going to die of hypothermia. Hey, but in, at the end of the day, that's what, you know, Lord, <laughs> that's what he wanted. So let me, uh, I'm going to get this scripture. Let's get this Matthew. All right, the book of Matthew 24, <coughs> verse 7. For a nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famines and pestilence. Actually, I'm going to read up. <clears throat> and Yahweh shall answer them and said unto them, Hello. I'm going to start at number three. Matthew 24, four, ah, Matthew 24, verse 3. And as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him privately, saying, Tell us what shall these things be, and what shall be the sign of thy coming and of the end of the world. So they want to know basically what hey, what's the end of the world gonna look like? You know, how are we gonna know we're at the end? And how shall I answer and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am Hamashiach, and shall deceive many. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. So, hey, the end isn't yet. So, yes, World War III is brewing up, but the end is not yet. Why isn't the end yet? Certain prophecies have to take place first. The mass implement. Uh, 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 Roll out of the um, of the Quran, the mark of the beast. That's got to be rolled out. See what I'm saying? So it's different prophecies have to happen before the end. So, hey, we just hey, we just got got to be patient. Just continue to do these lessons, and you know, remain staying on our watch, watching prophecies. Got to have Jacob's trouble. So the dollar crashing. Uh, um, you know, a lot of things have to take place before the end, before Yahweh shall return. Verse 7, for a nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famines, which we see in an engineer famine right now. You got Bill Gates ahead. This nigga buying up all the land here in America, Babylon the Great. You got an egg shortage. You got, all, you know, you got people just, just bugging out, just buying up random shit in stores so we seeing uh, a engineered family here in America <coughs> pestilence hey we just hey shit we still in it I mean they still pushing it even though they, they taking the funding from it but hey we have pestilence the CV19 hey but it's gonna be more pestilence cause that's with an S the Lord is saying and pestilence just P-E-S-T-I-L-E-N-C-E no Lord said pestilence with an S. So guess what? More than one. <laughs> Famines. Famines with an S. More than one. So, and there shall be famines and pestilences and earthquakes. That's with an S, not one earthquake. So it's going to be multiple earthquakes. So what these people seeing in Turkey and Syria, man, that's not even the tip of the iceberg. The Lord got more in store for, for, for the world in diverse places. So, yeah, it's going to be earthquakes. Because what did that article say? Let's go back. It said right here. Uh, this is, um, freezing weather conditions are further endanger, endangering survivors and, uh, and complicating rescue efforts. As more than a hundred extra shots. So like that's not what I wanted. Here it is. <clears throat> the quake, one of the strongest to hit the region in more than a hundred years. That quake is one of the strongest to hit the region more than a hundred years. It's what, 2023? So a hundred years. They said more than, so greater than a hundred years. That I think that qualify as diverse places because it's not like it happens <clears throat> all the time there. Verse 8, Matthew 24, verse 8. 
All these are the beginning of sorrows. <coughs> so yeah, so hey, it's just the beginning. That is just the beginning. Let's get this right here. Cause you know I got a lot of them over there worshiping Allah. And nigga Allah didn't pull up. Nigga didn't pull y'all out the rubble. <clears throat> Job 4 verse 7. Remember, I pray thee, whoever perish being innocent. Stop right there. So when people weren't innocent, they worshiping a fake God, Allah. So we understand, you know, a lot of them are like Edomites, but you know, some Jake over there. And at the end of the day, they didn't perish being innocent. If they if Jake, you know, was over there to perish, they weren't innocent. Nope. They repent, come back to Yahweh by Shem Abba Shah. So they weren't innocent, and those people weren't innocent. Because I'm, I'm reading the scripture. Whoever perished being innocent. Joel 4, verse 7. Remember, I pray thee, whoever perished being innocent. Oh, where were the righteous cut off? Even as I have seen they that plow iniquity and sow wickedness reap the same. So here it is. They've been, what, what, what have they been plowing? Worshiping idols, worshiping other gods, worshiping themselves. Hey, how did they work? Celebrating their birthday. Probably getting ready for Valentine's Day. Just got finished celebrating Christmas. Getting ready for um I think that's in I think that's in May. I, I think I think Ramadan. Let me let me look it up. That's a Muslim thing. Ramadan. I think Rama, here it is. Ramadan 2023, when is this? Oh, shit, that shit coming up. So, they getting ready, I know they getting ready for Ramadan. The evening of March, the reason I know about this, because like when I was in the Navy, when we used to uh, <coughs> go to the Muslim countries, like in um, uh, Bahrain and uh, pull into uh, like, um, Dubai and Bahrain, countries like that, it's heavily Muslim. We, If it was Ramadan, we wouldn't pull in because I don't forget what it was. They, we just wouldn't go. If it was like during Ramadan, we wouldn't go because it was like super strict during the time frame. So between the evening of March 22nd, because it's a whole month, to the evening of April uh, 20th this year, so in a month, a month and a half, or whatever, them niggas getting ready to celebrate Ramadan. So they probably getting ready for Ramadan. Lord said, no, nah, y'all niggas, y'all ain't celebrating that shit no more. I'm requiring y'all to come back to the spirit world. For those, um, what is, what, uh, people may not know what Ramadan is. Let me see if it can tell me. I know what it is, but I'm going to see. It gives you an explanation. <clears throat> Alright, this is Ramadan. <clears throat> the ninth month of the Muslim year during which strict fasting is observed from sunrise to sunset. So basically during that month, they fasting from sunrise to sunset. Uh, what's his name? Akeem Elijah. He's a, you know, Popular basketball player that's retired. Cause he, I know he's Muslim during his NBA career. He used to fast during those time frames. Um, you know what I'm saying? When he you know played in the NBA. But um, but yeah, that's when they basically fast from 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 uh, <clears throat> from sunrise to sunset during that time frame of Ramadan. But Lord, like now y'all is not fasting for this nigga Allah this year. I'm requiring your spirit. You gotta go back to the spiritual realm and sit your ass down. So whoever perish being innocent, them niggas were not innocent. The Lord required their spirit. As a matter of fact, let's get this in the book of Hebrews. Book of Hebrews 10, verse 31. It is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power. That's what happened. The Lord required his spirit. 
Why? Because they've been wicked as hell. They they were they they weren't uh, um, the Israelite that 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 may have perished over there. And them niggas were serving Allah. Hey, they fell into the hands of the living power because what? They ain't repent, come back, and follow the law, statute, commandments to the best of their ability. Yeah. <coughs> <coughs> yeah, they weren't eating pork. It's more than that. More than I eating pork. Yeah, they was uh, uh, fasting. But who are you fasting to? If you was, it was like over oh, there, man, perish. You were fasting to that nigga Allah. The reason why you want to eat pork was because that nigga Allah. So at the end of the day, he fell into the hands of the living power. And what did he do? He required your spirit. And I'm going to get this right here. Get, uh, Ecclesiastes 43. Mm. No, I don't think that was it. Let me see. Oh, there it is. <coughs> I was just in the wrong verse. Ecclesiastes 43 and 29. The Lord is terrible and very great and marvelous in, in his power. So at the end of the day, the Lord, he's terrible and very great and marvelous in all his power. And that was a marvelous thing of, 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 of that earthquake at the end of the day. But it was terrible for those people. Because, hey, you got those people out there crying. You know, if you watch the video, they're pulling out loved ones. Hey, that was a terrible, that was a terrifying event for them to see. Seeing that in the place where they live all their life, it's gone in a matter of seconds. That, hey, that was a marvelous work displayed by Yah by Shem <coughs> I'm going to end it up with this Baruch. Baruch 4, verse 32. I'm going to get this Baruch 4 and 32. Miserable are the cities which thy children serve. We served in some of them cities. Hey, we served in some of them cities. So, Lord, man, go ahead and knock some of these thousands of fucking buildings down. Brute 4, verse 32. Miserable are the cities which thy children serve. Miserable is she that received thy son. So, I don't see you miserable now. Thousands of people, thousands of buildings collapsed, thousands of people died. So, miserable are those cities. Because we served in them cities in captivity. Yeah. So, at the end of the day, Hey, the Lord just paying them back for a little bit. That requires some spirits. I think right about now we got about, what, 7,900 spirits have been called back. And count. We got more than 7,900 spirits have been called back. And those cities that we actually served at. So, hey, at the end of the day, if you're an Israelite in that area or the Israelite that come across this video, which would be so-called Negroes, Native Americans and our Latinos, so called, and you know, those uh, of our brothers and sisters that look like the other nations, repent, come back, follow your power, Yahweh, Shem, Yahweh, because the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Shalom.